Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration um, reading for the Aquarius and Moon Horizon. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is the fourth week of August. The week begins from the 20th until the 26th. This is a week of water, emotion, and this is the week of the Hermit. A week of the Hermit. And um, it is a water week and an emotional week, okay? The outcomes of this week is that you have the Knight of Pentacles. We're going to set the Knight of Pentacles here because we want to know um, um, how does this Knight of Pentacles have to affect you guys and in what way. Okay, as we look at this energy, um, we are seeing the energy of... Um, and I want to say to each and every person that in this week, the energies change. So the Zodiac energy from Monday to Wednesday it's going to be fire and from Thursday to Sunday it is going to be the hardest so this is good for you air sign people so let's look at the situation on Monday we have the energy of the fire sign on Tuesday we have water Wednesday we have the energy of another fire and on Thursday we have the energy of water so it's all about water and fire in the first four days of this week then we have the queen of pentacles on friday now this queen of pentacles is coming to help you um and then the weekend is going to be absolutely wonderful because um the weekend most of you are going to be connecting with new love or someone new who you have been seeing or there is going to be some transition that is going to be happening in your life okay there's going to be some transition that is going to be happening in your life so as we look at this energy it's, it's a very emotional week um, but it's going to be some um, real positive emotional whatever is transpired it's going to be absolutely um, positive emotional so let's see Monday some of you have a situation with the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles could be um, showing you opening up your awareness to something that you weren't aware of okay um, whoever this person is is a Pisces is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and this person is here as you look at this week there is the first four days is the major or corner and it's as if the energy of your angels and guides are coming in so um if you have the energy of the the seven of um victory um whatever the victory whatever um victory is going to be coming in some of you are going to be having a victory over the queen of um pentacles whoever this person is okay um as we look at the middle of the week we have you looking within for inner wisdom and guidance to deal with a situation and this could be a relationship or a situation at the work floor okay whatever the situation is that is transpiring on the work floor or with in your relationship it could be you looking at yourself or whatever that has been happening you're looking at yourself and you're trying to figure out how does this work strength and whatever the strength is that is happening you're seeing the energy of the 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 the, the ace of cups with the lovers so new love is going to be coming in um and um this is this is a week about you overcoming certain situations so let's see what is happening in the first half of the week it's all about love it's all about happiness and joy whatever is happening is all about happiness and joy so um if you are in a relationship with um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn um, it's all about happiness and joy if this person is your mother so if you guys have uh, um, your mother is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn it's going to be so wonderful it's as if the universe came in to heal a situation that was out of balance and the family is going to be balancing out and coming back together in a perfect harmony state as we look at um, the second um, um, some of you are going to be having relationships situation where you're looking at your relationships and you're finding in the strength and guidance to move forward in your relationship the two of cups is very positive but with the energy of the strength and the hermit this is saying to you look within um, look within for inner guidance look within for inner guidance to deal with a situation with the energy of the two of cups look within 
this energy whatever is transpiring it is coming from a past life some of you are dealing with past life relationship and um, this past life relationship could be affecting you in many ways for some of you it's uh, um, you as a parent dealing with your children for some of you you um, in a relationship for some of you it's you connecting with your partner some of you could be in a relationship with someone who is as, um, between the ages of 20 uh, 25 and 40 that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and you are looking of to find the inner strength who how you are more capable of dealing with this person whether this person is is as if this person is um annoying you and you have to be fine it could be your partner where um you have to you're seeking the inner strength to deal with all who this person is and the, the characteristic of this person okay it's all about connecting with family it's all about past life situation and people from um um, past life coming back in your life a lot of you are going to be connecting with your parents if your mom is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn um, you're going to over overcome an argument or something that has transpired um, whether it is your partner of your mother um, it is going to be a positive outcomes let's see what's happening for the energy of the ace of cups and the lovers the energy of the ace of cups and the lovers now some of you are going to be connecting with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion some of you are going to be connecting with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion whoever this person is it could be a um, um, this person is um, is from a past life this this person um, could be someone who you have known from the past whatever the situation is um, with this person they're coming back in your life okay so you could be um, I'm going to be connecting in a relationship with this person um, the possibility is there that this could be a very positive connection because this week is all about love this week is as if um, karmatic people who comes in to clear karmas are coming in because it's all about the two of cups because you have the two of cups and the six of cups and if you um, and the lovers so a lot of you hard dealing with soulmate and twin flame relationship in this week and whatever um, the situation that is affecting you in your life there is going to basically be help coming in for you so not to worry about this sort of a situation new love is coming in some of you could be connecting with someone who is um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion this person could be younger than you are this could be your um, but this is really a love relationship this is this is a love relationship or this could be a, a friendship between women that are coming in and these people are going to be um, connecting with you in a very positive way okay all right what's happening what is the outcomes of this week we're looking at the outcomes of this week um, some of you who are who have dealt with someone who is a um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn between the ages of 25 and 45 um, you're having some regrets with this person it's as if um, this relationship is too hard for you whatever the situation is whatever that has transpired you're thinking that this is um, and it could be a soulmate relationship that you're finding this relationship to be very hard and you're making a decision what is going to be the outcomes of your decision there is going to be a new start okay there is going to be a new start so I'm seeing a new start if you were having conflict in situation with a child or with your um, child father there is going to be a new start so let's say that you there is going to be um, some um, some um, a communication and whatever the communication is there is going to be coming up a new start for you guys what I'm seeing is that some of you um, are going to be um, connected with uh, um, someone who is very psychic this man could be a, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn the energy of the moon here because it's someone who's very psychic you're going to be having some 
um, conversation with this person, whether this person is, you're going to be having some conversation with this person, or it could be a mentor that is coming in that you're going to be having some conversation with. So look out for this because this will be coming. What I like about the outcomes of your week is that some of you are deciding, okay, I have made some bad decision with um, the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, but guess what? I'm going to get out of this and I'm going to just see it as a lesson and you're going to be receiving a new start. Okay. So um, I'm liking this for you guys. I'm seeing really positive situations coming out and this is going to be a week where um, the transition of uh, um, you finding and, and, and seeing because the weekend is going to be fabulous for you guys it's all about love it's all about connecting with someone new It's all about sharing yourself with someone new um, you know and some of you who uh, are going to be forming relationship with someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn woman over the age of 40 this is going to be a wonderful relationship this is going to be a relationship that this person is going to be opening you up um, to um, make wise decision in your life so um, congratulations and namaste until next week please remember to listen to your Sun moon and rise and sign likes and shares oh and you know thank you so much for returning namaste Thank you.